What's going on? This is Patty with KHTS, and we are here live, ladies and gentlemen, with Mr. Carden, uh, Mr. Carden Ellis of Unipest Pest Control. Carden, my man, what's going on? I'm well, thank you. I'm, w- uh, I'm well. I was going to say I be and be kind of cool <laughs> and gangster about it, but, you know, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's, you know, kid tested and mother approved quite yet, all right? <laughs> anyway, I, I am doing well, thank you, Patty. <laughs> I'm doing well. Well, Garden, I'm also doing well, and I'm glad you're doing well because, you know what, I got a question for you, sir. That's why I keep bringing you back. Yeah, hit me. All right, I'm going to hit you with my best shot. So... I was visiting a friend of Valencia, just because, you know, I live local out here, and I saw two of your guys on the roof of a house, and there were ladders everywhere, and, you know, what was going on? You guys looked pretty gnarly over there, brother. Okay, how do we look? What do we, what it we? was like, kind of, like, almost like you were, like, working on an oil rig, but I'm like, you guys are pest oh, control okay. guys. So, okay, so were we really high up, like, on, we're on the roof? Yeah, really high up. Okay, okay, okay. So, what you witnessed, <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> The, I, I wish you would have seen me in a like a more glamorous job, but um, <laughs> yeah, you know Mike Rose, dirty jobs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is like one of the worst jobs, but they're it's actually really funny. That was a beehive removal. What? Yeah, that was a live beehive removal. Really? Okay. On a roof, and the reason why we look like we're on our oil rig is because you have to do the patching of the roof we had to cut through the roof uh-huh most likely yeah we probably get about 10 of these a year mm-hmm. okay they're 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 not super common but they're also common enough that like once a month i end up having to do this right okay and you saw all the these like ladders sometimes we even have to do scaffolding Ooh. like on a construction so, yeah these are big jobs yeah okay? that sounds like it and um that was actually most likely me <laughs> <laughs> the liability is really big on that one. So I have like the least amount of employees on a roof as possible. And it's usually me going to do it. Um, it's This is not a, a normal pest control job. But, you know, people get beehives all the time. And usually here in Santa Clarita, they're in a wall where maybe there was a house built in the 70s or 80s that had the old galvanized plumbing. And they did a copper repipe, but they didn't seal up all the holes. So a small wall cavity that's basically an eye level or ground level gets a beehive uh, maybe six months later people notice it or maybe the dog gets attacked and they're like oh shoot we didn't notice it and they call us in to do an extermination and you can access the hive from actually the inside of the house by cutting through the drywall oh wow instead of the outside of the house cutting through the stucco you know yeah and usually like i'd say 95 percent of hives are accessible somehow by going through drywall or some other softer building material on the inside. And all these jobs are difficult. Like we build a false room around where we're going to open up the wall so the bees don't start flooding through the rest of the house. Right. Um, you know, we're in our bee suits protecting ourselves from getting stung, which honestly, no bee suit is perfect. You still end up getting stung. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, and um, we usually remove the hive that way. But every once in a while, and I feel sorry for these people because it's also a little bit expensive. Right. But Santa Clarita loves it some roofing tile. <laughs> they love this Spanish neoclassical. Oh yeah, um, what do they call it? Span- neo a neo Spanish revival, I think, is the official terminology. I don't know, but we have roof tiles everywhere, and not all not all roofing tiles match up well enough. So oftentimes, on the precipices of the tops of the roofs, or on the roof returns, where you've got the the forty five degree angle of the roof meeting the flat angle of the roof line. Yes. Okay. Yes. You can't make a square tile cover a triangular space sometimes. Right. So they'll fill it with cement, with mortar, or with some kind of roofing patch material. But, I mean, it gets old. It cracks under the sun. Sometimes the tile doesn't rest completely perfectly. And a bee only needs a hole the size of a Q-tip to be able to, you know, cruise in and start making a hive. Okay? So what you saw was us actually on... The most recent one we did, you, it was really high up, like three stories. Yeah, it was. Okay, yeah. That we actually just did a third story beehive removal. And you have to actually like bolt ladders to the roof so you don't oh, slide wow. down. Okay, because it's tile. Yeah. And if it's at a certain angle, you literally slide down. There's nothing you can do. And it's like a 35 degree fall. It's horrible. It's, these are the freakiest jobs. Okay. But you build scaffolding up or else you end up literally bolting ladders to the side of the roof and you have to take off the roofing tiles so you can secure your harness on there. So if you fall, you're like at least 
your, your fall is stopped by this kind of like rock climbing rig you got going on. Right, right, yeah. And then we actually have to take off the tiles to expose the roof, and we cut through their roof into the hive. Oh, my god. Okay, and if it's a live removal, you have this double thick suit on, and because if they get angry, they just there's like these first five minutes where all they do is just attack you, right? Swarming, and, yeah. And you have to take out with this little spatula thing that's actually like a little, uh, it's like this long kind of blade, similar how they put on plaster with. Oh yeah, yeah. And you cut through the hive where it's touching the top of the roof, uh-huh. and and you take each panel out and you stick it inside of this box. And you cover with a lid and you lower it down. Oftentimes we have like this little pulley system. You lower it down. Oh, nice, nice. And then the reason why we look so gross is because you have to do the roof repair right then. As soon as you remove the hive, you have to do the roof repair. So we have this nasty stuff called O. Henry patch, which comes up in these buckets. And it's roofing tar. Oh. So you get like this. There's honey all over you. Yeah. There's bees swarming you like crazy. And then you have to re-put back all the wood you just cut through and then patch it with a bunch of roofing tar. And then you have to go um, – we bring up the actual black paper mm-hmm. that, that they, they, they roof with. You stick the black paper on top of that and then you re-patch that whole thing. And it's a nasty job. It gets all over you. Yeah. And by the time you come down – do you ever remember, remember that movie Jarhead? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know when they're like walking through the oil fields. <laughs> right. You know and it gets all on them. Yep. So, yeah, you look like that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's wow. it's gnarly. Yeah, and like our bee suits, you can only do like three or four jobs in those bee suits like that before just the oil and the honey starts dissolving the stitches in your gloves. Oh wow. So you have to like re re get a new yeah. suit. And, oh my god. You gotta goodness. get a new suit and everything. Wow. But it's kind of crazy. You really feel like you accomplished something when you're done. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you do. Like you're yeah. like, I went to war and I won. <laughs> and they're the hugest hives because, like, honestly, who look who inspects their eaves? Right. On a one story house, nobody inspects their eaves. On a two story house, forget it. And then three story? Yeah. 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 It's like not even, no. So nobody inspects their hives. So oftentimes these roof jobs, the hives are massive because they're in an area that's safe enough away from dogs and pets and kids that nobody ever noticed there was a hive up there until maybe one day it swarmed. Yeah. And then they're like, whoa, oh my gosh. And, and just you, festering. Oh, and you can see it with infrared scopes. We'll actually go up there. Oh, wow. With uh, an infrared scope, and you'll see it glowing from the heat. Of the- That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty rad. Wow. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. Oh, so. my goodness. Yeah, it's, it's a fun job, but it's dirty. It takes, like, all day. Uh, Sometimes I, it'll I, take, like, two days just to remove <laughs> one of these hives, man. I bet it does. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, you guys look pretty gnarly, but, like, hey, I'm sure you're just like, yep. That yeah, so you don't work. really think like construction when you think pest control. But no, yeah. but it does kind of go hand in hand in certain regards though, like that. Oh, yeah. That does exactly. actually make a lot of sense. Yeah. Well, uh, Cardin, thank you so much for, you know, telling me what's going on with that because that like I was like, what is going on? That was like this that's that's crazy. And like I know I saw Unipest, and now I'm like, hey, that makes sense now. Yeah, I'm glad that I wore a shirt and tie today to try and, you know, look good and impress you <laughs> when when all you've done is see me all week in roofing tar. <laughs> <laughs> looking like I just crawled out of an oil rig. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, you, you dress to impress. What can I say, Carden? But uh, thank you so much. I know you're a busy man, Carden. So I'm gonna let you go here. Um, before you go, though, how can we get a hold of you if you know there's any hive and bee related incidents in other homes? Oh yeah, just call us. Calling us is the best. Six six one bug seventy five seventy five. That's six six one two eight four seven five seven five. You can send us an email. I think from our website if you want to, and you're really big time emailer. But calling's the best. It's just six six one bug seventy five seventy five. Gotcha. And for those interested in also emailing and checking them out on his website, it's actually www.unipest.com. And uh, for more information on KHCS and KHCS related. Uh, media please check us out on our facebook khcs radio we also have our website hometownstation.com or listen to us live on on khcs at 98.1 fm am 1220 khts